will never let a boy in my room. Oh no, if it's Here's here why. we go. First walk in. Oh, there's a lot. It looks normal. There's, looks cute. There's more. And then and boom, there's even more. Addiction. Man. If I walk into someone's room and they have a color coordinated aesthetic book talk shelf with paranormal YA fantasy romance books just stacked up everywhere. It's like seeing a bloody axe on the bed. There is no bigger red flag than seeing a bunch of book talk fluff books on someone's bookshelf. I would rather someone have no books or just like a typical Brene Brown book because you already know there's so much weird reinforcement happening in their reality from those books. And like, you'll never be able to have the conversation like, hey, you know, there's this crazy book called like Infinite Jest or Dune out there. Like, I really think you should try it because. I don't think I can control myself. I hate to be the one to say it, but if you are getting TikTok book recommendations, you are probably too dumb to read the classics and hard books. It takes a lot of effort, concentration, especially if you weren't prepped to read the classics in a very good public or private education setting and lifting yourself out of the abyss of all the fluff and time wasting books. It's a big deal. It's like someone getting over an addiction, but it almost never happens. The friend who likes the really bad music one day doesn't like all the next level progressive music. It usually takes some crazy crazy experience for that to happen. And like Rilke said, you must want to change your life to be a great artist. And these people, until they have that catalyst, are going to be stuck with TikTok book recommendations. Yeah, sometimes you just write random stuff in the annotations, but most people don't annotate their books. Most people don't like to read deep and be deliberate. Most English students don't actually read the books that are assigned in class, even in universities. We are becoming less happy, less intelligent, less intelligent and less healthy than ever. And people don't know what to do who like to read and write anymore because the purpose, the journey and a lot of other things are gone because the re um, Book, the book market is declining. The writing market is very saturated. So there is a sense of aimlessness and purposelessness in the community. And it's very toxic. And it actually creates a lot of mental health issues and problems. And the remedy to that, though, is nature, reading hard books and moving away from the aesthetics and just representing who you are in an authentic way. And most of the time, unless you are speaking knowledge, then you're trying to rock an aesthetic and aesthetics always lead to trouble, in my opinion, in the long run for people. Focus on the work, not on the image. Okay. Okay. Oh no, this is just way too much. You know, she's reading Emma by Jane Austen. And that is a book that you need to write in. You want the memories in there. You don't want to have all these, you know, you want to create less friction when you are reading something hard, when you're reading a classic, you want to, you know, be moving through it and thinking through it. And you can always just get more copies, something like Emma there, you can find used copies online for four or $5. And like when I've been in classes or taught certain books to classes and it's been a repeat, I'll buy a new book and then I take notes in that book and I take a ton. And then I can look like Siddhartha by Herman Hesse, for instance. I've done that with classes maybe four or five times. And I have four or five different versions and I've learned something new every single time. And then eventually I've actually done this with certain books. I've actually compiled all those notes and put them together in like kind of a master novel. So I have all that information and it's a really good thing. And so I guess that like she could be, you know, doing that, but it just seems like a waste of time. So for like six years now, I've not lent anyone a book because I've had so many stolen, damaged, forgotten about, lose contact with those people. And it's just not worth it. If someone cares about books, they will go get the book. There are millions, tens of millions of books online for free. They can get an ebook. They can do so many things. And especially, especially if you've annotated in the book. And I feel like when you get like are lending out books, it's like a very hierarchical position. Like you're saying like, Hey, I have all this information and you need to read this. It's like, I feel like, no, if they're motivated to learn and read, they are going to make sure that it happens. And they are going to listen to what I'm saying and write it down and take me seriously. And if not, I don't need to force them into reading by giving them the book and trying to pressure them to read it. But that's kind of a big part of book talk culture. So if you like this video and want to see more, then I will release more. Let me know and I will see you guys later. Peace.